Hi, welcome along to Sunseeker Southampton here at Swanwick Marina. It's a rather blustery day, so you have to excuse the noise in the background. But today we're going to have a look around this 2017 Sunseeker San Remo. It's a 53 foot hardtop sports boat, delivered new by us in 2017 here on the south coast. This particular model was motorboat and yachting's pick for sports cruiser of the year in her category at launch. And as we have a look around, I'll point out some of the great features that gave her this accolade. This particular boat is a one owner example. So based in Limington from New and only recently brought here to Swanwick as the owners exchanged her for a new model. You'll see the hull is fitted with pod drives. Uh, she was actually designed to take this system from the beginning rather than a retro onto some of the older models that you might see out in the market. So it's a D6435 engine, uh, branded as an IPS 600. Gives a top speed around 30 knots. And for a boat that weighs around 25 tonnes, she accelerates very well, very flat riding with the IPS. And very easy to manoeuvre in the marinas. Full joystick control. And the benefit on this one also with the optional uh, bow thruster up the front there, just to assist in, uh, in docking scenarios. It's a great looking boat, very sharp point of entry here on the bow. Very aggressive with those feature length hull windows running all the way down the sides. And you'll see with the black boot top stripe on top of the anti-foul line there, just finishes her off nicely. Uh, you'll see on the back here we've got underwater lights. Limshaw lights here. Uh, these handy steps, platforms hydraulic, high-low. It's going to lift 300 kilos separate to the garage, so you can carry a Williams in the garage and a separate sea do spark on the back. Something like that, if you wish. So heading up top, you'll see she's got a teak bathing platform. All the teak's in great condition. Not having been exposed to any med UV sun damage. We've got the optional teak side decks as well. Running all the way around the boat. Cosmetically, a uh, Great statement piece with a little more maintenance. Great sunbathing area here up on the bow. So there's removable cushions that are currently sat in the cockpit with the optional lift up backrest there. And she's got a um, an AV upgrade throughout. So there are plug-in Bose speakers that fit in the sockets here on the deck. So uh, full four deck zoning. It's a carbon fibre hardtop. You'll see the exposed beam in a minute when we go inside with this mirrored panel up top. Lots of boats this size have an opening canvas roof, which has its pros and cons. But we believe with the GRP hard top at the back there and then the full glass roof, it'll much better seal. It's great. Yeah, it's great. It's spotlight up top there and an aerial here for the DPS so that's Volvo's dynamic positioning system which enables you when you're waiting for say the fuel lock to hit the button on the throttles and it will then hold station it engages the engines and it will hold your heading and position to a GPS fix it means shorthanded boating is very simple it really takes a lot of the stress out of close quarters um, in the aft end here we've got a garage which I'll just pop up so you can see what's inside I won't take the lid all the way up but the access is great and in here we've got 
the option for a Williams 325 jet tender. It's on a clever shuttle system here at the back, which allows one-handed launch and recovery with the benefit down the side there of a winch system on a wandering lead. So very straightforward to launch and recover. Obviously you don't put the jet ski option on the back as well. It just means the deck's very neat, tidy, access is very straightforward. And it's also secure away from prying eyes when you leave the boat, perhaps in a visiting marina. So we just shut that back down and head up into the cockpit. So despite being now in her third, end of her third season, cover's still in good condition. So black canvas. Access up into the cockpit here is on the starboard side. You see how much space is offered on board. It's a really great social cockpit here on the San Remo. Loads of seating, handy wet bar, and everything's all, apart from a small step in the middle there, it's all generally on one level, so you're not going up and down, as with so many other boats this size. So we have a look on the starboard side here. There's a option with the upgraded electric grill, top loading, cool box, that's a sink. And also an ice maker so really uh, all the toys for outdoor entertaining opposite on the port side this lovely u-shaped seating area there's space on the deck here to add a couple of directors chairs for occasional extra bodies on board the table obviously folds up to give you more deck space here in the cockpit if there's just a couple on board you can see there's the optional cushions for the bow, sunbathing, and a mesh cover for the um, for the screen. Now, as part of the AV upgrade, so we've got an audio system here in the cockpit with uh, Sonance Extreme speakers, both sides. You'll see up forward here as well. So there's four speakers in total. It's a very high power system. Sounds great on the water. Now moving across on the starboard side, so you've got. Well laid out, very ergonomic helm. Some lovely features like the weighted Sunseeker logo there on the wheel. Looking outboard here, we've got the joystick control. Just twisting the top to go around in circle, push the side to bring the boat over. So it really is point and shoot parking. So can be tied into a remote control joystick, which you could retrofit if you so wish. Then you've got fly-by-wire throttle controls. And looking forward some really nice touch LED buttons for the main lighting systems etc we have bow thruster I have optional upgrade here to the seven inch color Volvo Penta display so that gives fuel burn readouts um, digital gauges for the engines that sort of thing so it was an upgrade to the twin two and a half inch standard black and white displays that Volvo offer controls for the spotlight and then these are multi-function displays so you can set them up to display heading, speed, depth, temperature, things like that. Looking up forward, multi Volvo tacos. So she's reading 274 hours at the moment, not likely to change with her ashore. And then twin 12 inch screens. So we've got currently set up here with a, with a chart and a radar, but you can obviously display a combination to suit your preferences. So all in all, if you imagine standing at the helm here, it's, everything's to hand. The visibility is great. We've got acres of glass all the way around the boat. So it makes docking very straightforward. And if we look up into the roof, this exposed weave carbon fiber here. Very, very pretty. It's a great feature on the boat and the panels actually are designed looking aft here on the hardtop structure itself. When the roof's fully open, all the glass lines up so you don't lose any sunlight into the cockpit. And the benefit of the hard top, see with it shut, has a big rubber seal on the front. You don't get the flogging canvas. And many of the other downsides to having a, a soft enclosure up here. So there's a mesh cover to go over it to keep 
seagull mess off and um, and the sun out if you're in warmer climates. Then over on the port side here we've got a further two forward facing seats, so four people facing forward in total. Great for when the weather's not so good. And again the visibility on this side is is awesome. So we head down below, see very easy steps, boat need to turn around to come down and immediately you'll see the wood finish in here is a black America walnut with a satin lacquer, so a matte finish, it's all in great condition, say so absolutely zero sun fade really, you wouldn't notice anything in here, so you never having been exposed to, to the med weather. We've got LED lighting throughout, so it's a very bright and airy interior feel. And despite the blinds being down, it is really, really bright in here, and it's a very grey and overcast day. So port side here, L-shaped galley. There's a good fridge, a single stainless sink, and then a two burner electric hob. We've got UK plug sockets, which could be switched out for European two pins if needed. And then if we have a look up top, as standard with all Sunseekers, we've got a full set of Royal Dalton crockery. One hundred and one different remotes for the various AV systems, and you'll see the Robert Welsh cutlery there. Big TV here in the saloon. So it's a Samsung, about thirty-two inches. And you'll see the speakers up the top there to give surround sound. It's all linked into an AV in the cupboard here. So you've got a Harman Kardon AV receiver, the DVD player, and the Sonos box. So not really anything else to add. There's additional equipment needed. Handy switch panel, so everything falls to hand. We've got one side for the 230 volt shore power stroke generator. And on the other side we've got the 12 and 24 volt domestic system. Wooden Venetian blinds. See things like these feature LED light panels here around the mirror. So the detail on this boat is fantastic. Again, just looking around things like the carpets, everything's very clean. You'd never know the boat's done three seasons. So if we start in the master cabin, so it was rare when a boat this size was launched that we managed to pack a midships master cabin in. So it's a full beam with glass windows on both sides. Hidden behind the blinds here. So feature headboard panel, it's in a center line berth. Keeps the water slapping on the hull to a minimum. And then handy on the starboard side of the boat here is a sideboard for storage. And then we've got the sofa on the port side. You'll see the headroom is, is fine here on the, on the port side of the boat. And then there is a step down in the middle to allow access around the bed. It's cleverly done, it does work. If you're up to sort of six foot two, there's no problem walking around in here. Um, and you just have to accept that on a boat of this size there is a compromise to having a midships cabin and it isn't possible to get a flat floor in here. Uh, en suite bathroom, so we've got a separate shower stall there with a good sized pump shower. It's a nice feature sink. Uh, electric flush Dometic vacuum toilet system with a holding, uh, holding tank. And then move back up and through the saloon. We go to the, the guest cabin, the VIP guest or for kids. Um, it's got dual functionality, so it's set up at the moment with two single beds in a V configuration, but they slide together seconds to give a double. So if you've got a couple on board, very easy to, to switch. We've got high level lockers here either side of the bed. Packing the storage in. Behind the door, there's a good sized wardrobe. lighting inside the wardrobe. Um, air conditioning unit here under the bed. So she's got full European spec aircon throughout. 
which will do reverse cycle. So you've got the option for heating in the not so nice weather and then ice cold air conditioning in the summer. Um, again, an ensuite bathroom. So you've got this rotating shower stall. Again, lots of storage and the same toilet, sink, etc. Uh, just looking down my list to check we've covered all the spec. She's got low level um, LED side deck lights throughout um, the exterior, so they go from the bathing platform all the way around. There's a heavy duty dinghy inflator socket uh, and pump in the garage to just enable the, uh, the tender to be pumped up, or if you've got paddle boards and what have you, just allows quick inflation. There's a TV shore inlet on the bathing platform. Uh, so if you're moored up in a marina that offers that facility, it's nice to be able to plug into a much more powerful aerial. The generator is upgraded from the standard to a nine and a half kilowatt uh, Onan unit. Uh, she's got freshwater deck wash system on both the bow and stern with a um, with a curly cord hose. Uh, there's an ice maker purifying cartridge system uh, for that ice maker I showed you up in the cockpit earlier. And there's an additional 30 meters of um, galvanized anchor chain, so she's actually 60 meters in total. So all in all, a very high spec boat. She is a med spec boat, so everything on here, if you wanted to take the boat down south in the future. So she's a 2017 model, currently on the market at 625,000 pounds sterling, tax paid. I say one owner from new, just taken in part exchange by us. And as such, there is potentially the facility to take a further part exchange if you have a boat to swap in. And as with all Sunseeker dealer approved boats, sold with a full preparation and potentially a warranty package to give you complete peace of mind as you start your new system. She's, um, she's ashore here at Swanwick Marina, here on the south coast. Available to view seven days a week. Um, if you could give us a bit of prior notice, we can get the boat opened up, push cushions out, and covers off, etc. Uh, but if you're just passing, please call in and we'll get you on board. Say so she's called Lakayla. The details can be found online, or I'll put a link at the bottom of this video. My name's James Lumley. My email is james at sunseekersouthampton.com, or the mobile is plus four four. 7747-686-587 and we'd welcome you to come and check out this exciting opportunity.